I'm Judith Barnes, I'm an English teacher at Birchhead High School and I have been very lucky to have had the use of a visualiser for these past few months and I'd like to share with you some of the things that I've been able to use it to do to enhance the teaching and learning within the department. The Refugee Boy Aileen gets our letter from his dad. The letter says, Hello Aileen, I am sorry that I left you over in England, but I had to come back over to Ethiopia because of something. The letter what he had was a bad news. He had found out that his mum has died. He went up into his room and told his foster parents to stay out. Aaron is upset because what the letter has said, so he went downstairs and gave his foster, foster parents a hug and told, him, and told them about his mum. Aaron does not know what to do. He just wishes his mum was here to help him. He was just upset and scared and he f feels that there is not a friend in the world. Aaron gets a ticket to Ethiopia to go to his mum's funeral. His dad was standing there with his arms wide open for a hug. Right, I'll just pause that there, which seems to be probably the best slide of the show. This was the first thing that we did with the visualiser, um, because it was at the time when uh, the Year 8 class who produced this were uh, working on Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah. What it enabled them to do was to take their drawings and make them into um, a presentation which was later put onto the internet. They could put just their small A4 drawings in the, uh, the visualiser and see what they looked like full size and then add captions to them later. Not only was this very um, inspirational for them, but they were able to actually do this by themselves because once we taught them how to use the visualiser, they were capable of coming in, capturing the images, saving them themselves. So for particularly one student, this turned him from somebody who wasn't very confident to somebody who now feels they can do absolutely anything and has, they've gained a great deal of confidence from it. Um, the class that did this were actually lower ability year eight. Um, that's just one use. Um, another thing that we've been able to do using the visualiser is actually um, show children when they're working in class what good looks like. So you can walk around the room and see a really good example of work and immediately take it and by putting it on the visualiser share it with the rest of the class. Um, I'll just give you an example of that. Um, if I put this piece of work onto the visualiser I can just line it up. It just takes and then move it to full screen and then uh, students themselves can actually come out and say what the good features of instructional writing are. You can then use the whiteboard pens on it um, in order to illustrate, um, for example, um, connectives that have been used. And this is um, a very good way of instantly giving the kids feedback on what they've been producing and also actually illustrating what it is you've been talking about. It enables you to share with the whole class what members of the class are actually doing. So that when, you're, um, when you've given some instructions about a task, it enables you to share with all the students in the class the way in which you would ideally like them to respond. So instead of you doing the teacher's example, they can see the student's own work, what their peers are doing. So it enables them to both assess 
the work that's on the board and also assess what their own achievement and see what's good about what they're doing and ways in which they might possibly be able to improve their work. It's incredibly easy and you can say to kids, go and stick your work on the visualiser and it's something that they can manage themselves. So it also enables you to celebrate their achievement and for them to take control of it so they can come out and uh, put their own work on and then they can correct their own mistakes um, and students can come up and comment on other people's work. You can then also capture the image and refer back to it later so students can um, evaluate what improvements they've made um, and you can then refer to, well we did this a previous lesson so you can actually go back to things that you've done um, beforehand as a starting point for something else. It's also a very quick and easy way of drawing, uh, drawing uh, attention to sections of text or questions or uh, things which would have been difficult to instantly share with students. Uh, they think it's great. In fact, they think it's magic. Um, because, because it's a camera, they can't really understand how it's happening, so there's sort of an intrigue value there. And they really like seeing examples of their own work. We had a, um, a competition to produce cards for Shakespeare's birthday. And um, we were able to very quickly share with students the sorts of things that had been produced by the class. And they could, it's another way of celebrating the sorts, the, the very good work that they're doing. Um, it enables you to share things which are fun with the rest of the class, as well as draw attention to what's really examples of very good work. It actually offers you quite a range of different functions. This is quite a um, sophisticated piece of equipment. You can capture the image so you can save it, as I said before, to use later. Um, it allows you to um, have different screen sizes you can go into telephoto which allows you to make the image larger or if it's too big you can make it smaller um, things that I don't use very often but you can actually rotate it around and adjust the colour balance if you want a really good resolution image it is so quick and easy and the technology is very very straightforward you don't have to um, do anything in preparation you can see something and want to share it with the class and literally just walk over and switch the machine on and you're able to to share it but you don't only share it for that moment if you want to you can capture the image and then it could be shared with the whole department through putting it onto um, a, a file that could be shared. Another thing I use the visualizer for is to encourage um, students to develop critical skills and especially at Key Stage 4 I'll actually put something that I've written or um, on the board and encourage them then to assess my writing. They sometimes know it's mine and sometimes they don't and I try to get them to see the obvious faults that many students fall into and of course they enjoy greatly going up to the white or going up to the visualizer and correcting somebody else's work. Uh, hopefully they then transfer these skills to assessing their own and others work.